Why? You're not going to salt and pepper it? The thing is, I'm going to let you know if it, if it needs it. If it needs it. Here, here, here. Hey besties. besties! Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back! Yes, my own. I'm Jordan. <laughs> I'm Bailey. And you're watching Bird Red Truth Besties! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all, today we are at Jane in Highland Park. Highland Park. And we found this yesterday. Mm -hmm. The food looked good. Yes. We parked in an interesting area of a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So if you guys park, um, park, there's an you. alley. Yeah, but I don't know. I think we good. Somebody out here playing security. So that's why I'm a little paranoid right now. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we gonna see. We're gonna see. Like she sent me all the places and we chose this one and I like, we're both really hungry. So yeah, I'm excited just to eat mm -hmm. and see what we think about it. Yep. So come along with us and let's see what we think about Jane. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Niggas want me to get ratchet, niggas want me to attack it Put the hood on, they're calling me cashes Crunch it like Bob Saget, pretty I can't pass it Eating everything, nigga, no fasting I don't care how much you knew me in the past tense I ain't no Julia Stiles, this ain't no last dance, baby Alright besties, we got all our food And we're gonna just start off with our drinks Because we have them in our hands, so why not? I got the iced matcha with oat milk and a hint of vanilla. I got an iced mocha, which I never get, and it has um, oat milk in it. Cheers. Mm. Delicious. It's a little warm. Let me just mix it up. That's good. That's good. That's, That's good. solid. That's like solid work. For food, I got a spinach and apple sausage um, omelet. It came with a side of potatoes and fruit. And then I was extra hungry this morning. So I decided to order a big side of pancakes. So And they look good. Yeah, let's see what I actually finished today. And I got the orange French toast and it looks crazy good. So we gonna see because it looks saturated. And I got a side of applewood, apple, 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 chicken, apple, apple, chicken apple sausage. So <laughs> let's see what this first bite. You're not gonna salt and pepper it. The thing is, I'm gonna let you know if it if it needs it. If it here, 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 here ye, here ye. I'm gonna let you know if it needs it. I'm pretty confident that it might offer it. But like I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, y'all saw y'all saw the video of it, so you know what it looks like. So. We gonna see. Thank you for being patient. She's buttering up her. I'm buttering up my um, pancakes and getting all that ready for y'all. For me, I've never heard of an orange French toast, by the way. So I'm like nervous but excited at the same time because yes. I don't really know what to expect. All right, I'm going to do my pancake first since I got this right here. I wish you guys could see her hand placement on everything. It's like really, quite really. Cool. Yeah. If I was at tea, I would get kicked out. <laughs> All right, here's my pancake. Okay. Mmm. Solid nine. That's really good flavors inside. Oh, really that's good flavors sauce? inside. Yeah, that's why I'm like, okay. She didn't even come to play. Like, look how hot that is. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah. Piping hot. I like that. There's mushrooms in there. And she's eating spinach, y'all. Bailey usually don't mess with spinach, but I only like cooked spinach. Yeah, she over here eating spinach. I'm really glad that I gave it a chance just to be like its own flavor. Like, this is actually a really good omelet on its own. Like, it doesn't really need the seasoning, but just because I like my spice, I'm gonna put on the chalula. Oh, potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. 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 potatoes. Mid, cool, up to debate later on. I'm gonna let you know about those later, but 
Mm. Like I said, I'm just gonna put on my kilo though. I've never seen an egg look so bare like that. <laughs> like usually it has like a little bit of some in it, but that is yellow. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Alright y'all. You know what that means? It's time for us to eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. We're gonna get back to y'all with the review. Testing. <coughs> One, two, three. It was cute. It was such a cute family vibe. Very comfy, cozy, like literally like you're at home. Literally. Because it is a house. It is. And it was just like so many different races, so many different cultures coming in and out. And I was like, this is probably one of the most diverse places yes. we've ever been to because Diversity. representation it was matters. popping. And like even the staff, the it staff. was so diverse. So it just felt like you were going in literally to a place where everyone belongs it was just so comforting it really was refreshing to finally just feel like you belong in a space yes without you belong stairs yeah. and they minded their business there they sure did i don't think anyone was like trying to be because you know having a camera out of course it brings mm -hmm. attention but nobody was really nosy they were like yeah they were like what are you, what are you guys doing what do you guys do? They were just so true. they were chilling. They were true to themselves. They very really authentic. were. They're in their own moment. So shout out to that. Mm -hmm. Very calm. Very calm. <sighs> All right. How should we break this down? I think we should go back to our um, um, scoring system. Okay. Um. So we can start off with the ambiance. Ambiance. House like. Very cozy. Nothing crazy. Simple but effective. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of seating mm -hmm. for a busy place. Yeah. So I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them an eight. An eight. Okay. I really loved how there were so many different places that you could sit. They had a patio, they had the inside, and they had a front yard. Mm -hmm. um, nobody was ever sitting on top of each other. Mm -hmm. um, it was very cool, shady, like anywhere you went, it was just like, honestly, it seemed like it was going to be very perfect. Um, everyone was nice. And it was really organized. Nothing. It wasn't it was. dirty. It didn't smell bad. Like it was great. So honestly, for me, I think that like the environment, just feeling how comfortable I felt, it was a ten. Mm. That is a great point, though, because for napkins too, like they were all like you could grab them very easily. If you need a straw, you grab it. Hot sauce, grab it. There was nothing that you really needed to ask for. So mm -hmm. that was a cool setup. Yeah. So yeah. I like that. So now with our drinks. Mm hmm. Um, I got the matcha with oat milk and vanilla and I'm not a sweet matcha girly I think if I was in high school I probably would be but now that I'm kind of in my mature age I'm 25 now so <laughs> things are different um, <laughs> I, I would say um, the matcha was like a it was like a seven a seven okay yeah it was a seven your matcha was better than that. Oh, the one I made? Mm-hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Barista Bay's matcha was better. <laughs> um, no offense to y'all, though, you know, but, yeah. That means that I got higher than a seven. That's good. For sure. You got, like, a nine. Per. It's pretty good. And that was our lavender era, too. It was. So that was good. It was. I'm looking for good lavender latte again. I got the iced mocha with oat milk. And... I'm not a chocolate girly at all. Like, I despise anything mocha. So, it was really weird that I got that today. And I really did like it. It wasn't too much chocolate. It wasn't too sweet. And it was, like, honestly a good balance. I'm going to give it 8.5. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anywhere on Brunch with Besties, Bailey has gotten a mocha. No. So That's unheard of. I'm trying to think. If it is mocha, then it's white mocha. White mocha, yes. Yeah. Not just regular Chocolate mocha. Chocolate yeah. mocha. That's that's yeah. something to dignify. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, food. I got the orange French toast, y'all. And I was going back and forth with the people in the front, like, <laughs> what is the most popular meal? And of course it said like the normal combo of the two by two by two. And I was like, I'm not really trying to go for that though. So what would you say? And the other homegirl was like, just get the orange French toast. And I yeah. said, Okay. So I got that. It was really good. First bite, very moist, buttery. Like, it was probably one of the best actual French toast. Like, even without the orange. Like, yeah. if it was just French toast, that was probably one of the best textures and flavor that I've had in a minute. So I would say with all that combined, I'm going to give that a nine. A nine. 
That's good. That's good. Nine, That's good. Nine, 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 nine. Yes. And I can I can um confirm that the French toast itself wasn't like too mushy, wasn't not it wasn't dry, like it was very balanced and it was light. Like usually if you yeah. like bite into French toast it can taste thick, but it was really airy and light. So that was something that I had never tried before. And I, Bailey's not a citrus girly, so I had to tell her like look past the citrus yeah, and look at more of the French toast. Yeah. So I'm glad you were able to do that. Yeah. If you're not a like citrus person, I wouldn't recommend that because I was like Okay. It was a lot like, though. It was a lot, and like also the the bananas. Yeah, they were very ripe to me. No, they were really sweet. Yeah, yeah, because the more ripe, I think, the more sweet. Or yeah. they were older. Yeah, yeah. But if you like all of those flavors together, like that's for you. That for was, sure. And it was it was good. It was. Good. I think Just even the classic French toast too yeah. would be a better substitute mm -hmm. if you don't want. Yeah, that. but I still agree with your with your rating. That was okay. that was good. I got an omelet with potatoes and pancakes, and that was way too much food. First of all, I don't even know why I ordered pancakes. <laughs> that was very unnecessary. I uh, think you could have done with one. Yeah. Even then, huh? Even it's that was too much. I didn't need the pancakes. <laughs> um, the pancakes were good. Like, it tasted like a really good pancake, and I I like when they're kind of like, not. To where they soak all of the butter because mm. if it does soak it that means it's a dry pancake and just kind of like laid on nicely and it did melted and had like a little bit of a crisp on the outside and overall like the pancake had a really good taste to it like that was low-key a perfect pancake in my mm. opinion i just was too full to eat everything the omelet was it looked really sad upon first glance it, it looked did really y'all like it I was really scared to try it but y'all the apple sausage the spinach the tomatoes the mushrooms all of that together inside like it was such a good combination it didn't even have cheese so I would say that was good and was a soft scrambled omelet so I really enjoyed that the potatoes were not it like they were really bland so I actually like smothered them in ketchup ketchup and ketchup um should i rate each item um i mean you can or you could rate as a whole whatever's easier because i feel like those are very different things yeah you did you liked some of it but you didn't like other parts so Me. i don't know it depends okay so then you would have to do math all right so the potatoes that's a two okay the pancakes i'll give it an 8.5 i just realized you gave the potatoes a two and i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> omelet i'm gonna give it a 7.5 because i wanted some cheese and but i mean i could have specified that but at the same time like i also wanted it to be a little bit harder i didn't want it to be a soft scramble so that would have made the difference to an eight so it was a 7.5 for me so drum roll please it is a 7.625. But I'm going to, I feel like we should round it up to an 8 because the potatoes is a, that's a very big outlier on the negative side. Yeah, yeah. So we'll give it an 8. It's going to be an 8. Yeah, let's round up. Because, yeah. I mean, there's so much on that menu too, guys. I know we didn't show a video of it, but there's so much options so many options on that menu so yes. i think a eight is even still scratching the surface of the potential of that place yeah, so yeah. yeah but i'm satisfied with that today I'm satisfied i'm really satisfied and i'm not like uh full i'm like a perfect level of full where mm -hmm. i'll be hungry again by like lunch dinner time no well, it's lunch time right now so like dinner time <laughs> yeah like and we little, got leftovers a late snack little little snaggy snack little might warm snack. it up and then you know chill a little bit but yeah anything else that is all i really have to say i think there's a lot of street parking we parked in the back which we didn't need to i just think we got a little confused yeah i mean but yeah. this worked out fine if you get this spot then good for you're you set. but either way you're still gonna be fine um but still i think everyone should get er, um should go to brunch early just to beat the crowd it's oh yeah better. it was packed it was packed out the door so yeah. i think the perfect brunch time is like 11. 
and I think based off our experiences, that might be the prime time. Yes, to 11 go. always works for us. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And do not forget to turn on your post notifications so you do not miss another upload from your favorite besties. Okay? And when you go to these places, what you gonna tell them? Tell them that brunch, brunch with, with besties sent ya. Alright y'all, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.